News have emerged of an upcoming brand new Lord of the Rings movie called The Hunt for Gollum, and it raises quite a few questions. Since the original books only warranted three films, and the Hobbit movies already felt like a huge stretch, it's hard to know what possessed the Warner Brothers to try and add yet another prequel to the franchise, other than the smell of possible profits. And it's even harder to imagine why they would choose Gollum of all the characters to build a plot around, since he was not exactly the reason anyone would watch the originals, to say the least. His presence was essentially a necessary nuisance that was simply needed to drive the plot forward. So, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let's see what Variety has to say about all of it. Early Doomer. Here they write, Warner Brothers will release the first of its new batch of live action, The Lord of the Rings films in 2026, which will focus on Andy Serkis's Gollum. Original The Lord of the Rings trilogy filmmaker Peter Jackson and his partners Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens are producing the movie and will be involved every step of the way, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav said during an earnings call Thursday. So it looks like Peter Jackson is on board with it, which at least means that there is a chance it won't be completely unwatchable. The project is currently in the early stages of script development from writers Walsh and Boyens, along with Phoebe Gittins and Artie Papa Giorgio, and will explore storylines yet to be told. Zaslav said. In a press release from Warner Brothers later Thursday morning, the studio revealed that the working title for the film is Lord of the Rings The Hunt for Gollum, and it will be directed by and star Circus in his iconic titular role. Well, I guess we'll find out if Gollum is as good at directing one of these as he is at playing a little creep in them. The film will be executive produced by Ken Kamins, with Circus and the Imaginarium's Jonathan Cavendish. Warner Brothers first announced in February 2023 that then-newly installed studio leaders Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi had brokered a deal to make multiple films based on the beloved J.R.R. Tolkien books. Okay, but they've already made multiple films based on the books. So what exactly is this one going to be based on? The projects will be developed through WB label New Line Cinema. Free Mode, a division of Embracer Group, made the adaptive rights deal for books including The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit under a venture named Middle Earth Enterprises. A separate animated Middle Earth movie, The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, is due on Dexter 13 via Warner Brothers and director Kenji Kamiyama. That movie is set 200 years before the events of The Hobbit. Well, that does sound like it could be good, so I guess at least it may recoup some of their losses if the Gollum film flops hard. For over two decades, moviegoers have embraced the Lord of the Rings film trilogy because of the undeniable devotion Peter, Fran, and Philippa have shown towards protecting the legacy of Tolkien's works, and to ensure audiences could experience the incredible world he created in a way that honors his literary vision, DeLuca and Abdi said in a statement Thursday. Yeah, after the Rings of Girl Power, it sure would be nice to see something that actually honors Tolkien's legacy, although it's hard to see how a new cash-grabbing movie could do that. We are honored they have agreed to be our partners on these two new films. With Andy coming aboard to direct Lord of the Rings, The Hunt for Gollum, we continue an important commitment to excellence that is a true hallmark of how we all want to venture ahead and further contribute to the Lord of the Rings cinematic history. Jackson Walsh and Boyens added, It is an honor and a privilege to travel back to Middle Earth with our good friend and collaborator Andy Serkis, who has unfinished business with that stinker Gollum. As lifelong fans of Professor Tolkien's vast mythology, we are proud to be working with Mike DeLuca, Pam Abdi, and the entire team at Warner Brothers on another epic adventure. Yes, precious, Circus said. The time has come once more to venture into the unknown with my dear friends, the extraordinary and incomparable guardians of Middle-earth Peter, Fran, and Philippa. With Mike and Pam and the Warner Bros. team on the quest as well, Alongside Weta and our filmmaking family in New Zealand, it's just all too delicious. Sure, except none of the characters who actually went on adventures will be present for this one. And I'm not sure if anyone wants to see Gollum take their place. The original Lord of the Rings trilogy, helmed by Jackson, grossed nearly $3 billion worldwide. Jackson's follow-up trilogy based on Tolkien's The Hobbit matched those grosses. Yes, the Hobbit trilogy may have brought in money, but then again, Captain Marvel was also a huge box office hit, which still doesn't mean it was even remotely good. Jackson's first Lord of the Rings trilogy starred Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, Liv Tyler, Viggo Mortensen, Sean Astin, and Kate Blanchett. That trio of films was nominated for 30 Academy Awards and took home 17 trophies, including Best Picture for 2003's The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Well, I have a feeling they won't have to worry about finding a way to take home all those awards after this newest project of theirs. 
What do you think? Put your thoughts down below in the comments section. Check out my book of shocking secrets and groundbreaking revelations, which you can find in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one.